Today's proclamation of the Word of God is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 2. The word of Isaiah, the son of Amos, so concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountains of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountains of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge between nations, and rebuke many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hook. Nations shall not lift up swords against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come and let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Please stand for our responsorial psalm, Psalm 122. And our response, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Response Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Response To the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, for thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Response. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. Response. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will say, peace be within you. Because the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good response. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy as you should enter under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, Go, and he goes. And to another, Come, and he comes. And to my servant, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, As surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you, that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. In our Gospel this morning, we hear about the centurion who was a servant who was, who was sick. Hindi na niya kailangang papuntahin si Jesus Christ sa bahay niya para makita niya na ginagamot siya Jesus Christ. All he asked is for Jesus Christ to only say the word and his servant will be healed. Pakikita natin dito 
how powerful the Word of God is. That the centurion, all he needs is to hear Christ say the Word. All he, all he, all he needs is Christ to say the Word. All he needs is the Word of God. The Bible is the Word of God. We need to read it. We need to, whenever we read the Bible, we are hearing the Word of God. Whenever we speak the, the, the Scriptures in the Bible, we are hearing the Word of God. Whenever we come to church and hear Mass, we are hearing the Word of God. There is power in the Word of God. The Word of God is alive. The Word of God will accomplish yung purpose niya. Whatever yung purpose nun ma-accomplish. That's why we need to hear it always. We need to read the Bible always. It will bring healing in our life. It will bring blessings to us. Just like the centurion. Ang kailangan lang niya is to hear the Word of God. And it will bring healing to his house. That's what we need right now. The Word of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand.